A while back, I joined a 3.5 game that was supposedly worked on by the GM for over 10 years. We all got into the call and the first thing I see is this absolute giant stack of papers in front of the GM. That was the dungeon. Over 200 pages of traps, monsters, NPCs, rooms and bosses. I was really excited because I thought that with so much material to work off, there would be no way for the GM to be without a backup or countermeasure to par gamers or plot derailing. Oh boy, was I wrong. The adventure starts like most do, in a tavern. None of the player characters know each other. First red flag. Alright, that's cool, we can get to know each other on the way, it's not the worst thing ever. The party consisted of Chaotic Stupid Orc Barbarian Chaotic Stupid Human Rogue Azamar Fighter Paladin Type, not sure he ever did anything Racist Half Elf Ranger And My Tiny Ass, Pixie Ariel Fighter Into the Madness the GM starts narrating about how full the tavern is and how we all slowly condense around the bar where we were supposed to meet someone for a contract job. This immediately gets thrown out the window as the rogue attempts to steal from the orc. I assume he did so under the assumption that a big, dumb, boorish orc would have all the perceptive powers of a toddler in a candy store. This, however, turned out to be a grave mistake. The orc barbarian, as it turned out, had a plus 15 to perception. I have no idea how the GM just went with it. Meanwhile, I'm hiding up in the rafters, just hanging out, looking for people to prank. Tiny creatures have insane bonuses to stealth, by the way. What followed from this has to be the most insane series of events that I have ever seen. The orc grabs the hand of the little man, turns and smiles. Orc. I grab the pixie and shove it up his ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. That was really escalated. <laughs> Fuck, okay. Everyone goes silent. I explain that my character is one, up in the rafters enjoying watching people in the bar. Two, even with that perception roll, you didn't beat her stealth roll from earlier. And three, why? <laughs> yeah, why is the yeah. the only question being asked here. Yeah. The entire call breaks down into these two trying to kill each other. The orc player calling my stealth bullshit. The rogue trying to stab the orc. The paladin tries to quell the situation and the half-elven ranger sulks at the bar tossing out racial connotations about humans and orcs. Sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds, sounds bang on. Yeah. <laughs> the GM, trying to salvage what he can from this, reels us so hard into the next scene that I swear I could hear the metal shavings and sparks from where I sat. Be honest with me, that's completely fine. Yeah. I've got no issue with that. Yeah. So, like, people have got this weird perception about the old ones. It's like, no, you cannot do that under any circumstances. No, but yeah, whenever but, this is happening, sometimes, it's sometimes, like, no! Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the real should be there, but you don't know that they're there. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Yeah. That's the way I would. Mean. Yeah. We are focused to the next scene under the assumption that earlier, one, none of that ever happened, or two, the reward's good enough to make us play nice. <laughs> Finally, things settle down as the GM gives a very detailed and atmospheric building descriptions of the area around us and the door in the cliff face. Yes, the dreaded door. The uh, being of all adventurers' existence. It is not a dwarf to kick it out. <laughs> it is raining in the dark of the night as lightning rolls and crackles in the distance. The party tries to open the door. It's locked, solid metal. Ten foot tall door to a tomb. That also apparently has a DC 30 plus to lockpick, DC 40 plus to force open, and I don't even want to think about how many hit points the thing must have or had, let alone its hardness. With literally no way to use the door, we all scatter into the area to search for another way inside. My character flies up and spots a figure lurking atop the cliff. I tried to confront this person but apparently the GM wanted this to be some sort of mysterious figurehead and said that I lost track of him on the flyover, presumably hidden by a flash of lightning. Eventually I'm able to spot a hole in the ground. The orc player, not understanding what meta is in the slightest, immediately runs over along with the rogue, soon followed by the others. The GM describes how the hole drops down into a square room below. A stone sarcophagi clearly visible in the middle of the room with water that has filled the area to what we can assume is waist high compared to the orc. The party walks for a short time before agreeing that they should send the rogue down first as he has all the trap know-how and high stealth. 
Before we set our plan into motion, the GM describes how there is a body floating in the water. This piques our interest, as we then take some time to observe. Find that it is a body of what looks to be a young woman. The rogue, not letting this perturb him, leaps down into the room to get a better look around, making it clear to the GM that he is keeping a safe distance from the body. Now to this point, for the brief while it lasted, this all was actually pretty fun. Mostly because we didn't have to talk to each other, but also because the GM really didn't put a lot of effort into all of this. That all changed when the orc leaped down after the rogue. Not to be his backup or to help him in any way, but because he wanted to. And I quote, I go to the body, drop my pants and fuck it. Oh, for God's sake. What? Why? Why? Before okay. going into more detail. <laughs> Why? I want, I want a good explanation for that. That has to be like, like what, other than just pure perversion. Like, Squad it, broken. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Now I have seen some pretty weird things in my time. Drunken brawlers pissing on eldritch horrors. Other barbarian types trying to fuck animals that were, not unexpectedly, not inclined to oblige, and even once had to listen about a woman being tortured to death. Even at their worst, these only got a twinge out of me. Sometimes a laugh when the dumbass got what was coming to him. But I'll be damned before I have to sit back and watch and listen to some asshole describe how he rapes a corpse of a small village girl. Now, I need to make something clear. I'm not that guy. Power gaming fucktard. I can barely make a functioning character that is on par with even half of the others because I'm not good at character creation. However, I was damn proud of this character. I asked the GM for the materials allowed and he said anything. I went for a pixie aerial fighter and took all the feats relating to dive bomb attacks with a lance 2 size category larger than her tiny ass. Again, thanks to feats. This basically meant that if my character could get at least 10 feet above the enemy, she could make a diving flyby attack that also adds whatever fall damage would have been taken from the dive. I don't have the build save so I can't tell you all the bonuses or how I got them but let me just say this. On a normal attack she averaged 30 plus damage. For a level 5 character that is pretty on par with what you'd expect from a regular fighter or barbarian. My pixie was once a member of the honor guard in her tribe. She is a she and she is without a shadow of a doubt the kindest most generous character I've ever attempted to portray. Pixies are normally we are always we fuckheads. Uh, I've never heard of a nice pixie. Yeah, no, they're just pixies they're, are always like fucking stealing the tops of your shoelaces and stuff, no. or like stealing your keys, or just planting shit under your feet, like yeah. you know, planting the dog shit, like you know, before you can see, and then you stand. Yeah, like, for fuck's sake. Or like taking the last square toilet roll. <laughs> no, that's what they are. That's to me what they are. Yeah. yeah. Between the GM asking if he wants to turn her over. Not surprisingly getting a, no, we'll do it doggy style. And the rogue backing away because he doesn't want to get hit by any AOE that's about to be thrown at the bastard. I say to the GM, how many feet down is he? The GM says, in a robotic tone, 20 feet. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just feel more bad for the DM at this point. He's really worked on this. Yeah, 10 really years sorry. he's worked on if this. He's been working on for that long, put all this effort in. Apparently. The first thing it's like, I'm gonna fuck Fuck yeah, like again. fuck me. Fuck. You know, it's like all these don't. Screen your, screen your, the people you're bringing in. I know. <laughs> Vet them. I know. Say, like, are you a rapist? It's <laughs> 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 a straight up question. It's like, are you? Like, you know, it's like you know what it's like. You know what the start of fall day. And then you, you have to give them like a goat test. You know the goat test from fall day, and it gives you like all them stupid. Yeah, do that. Like it's yeah. a simple questionnaire that you need to fill out whether or not you get accepted or not. Okay. So the GM says in a robotic tone, 20 feet. I describe how my character flies up to the max distance she can move from him before diving down the moment he drops his pants, stabbing off his dick. (laughs) 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 Hello, Pixie, going around fucking, no dick! (laughs) You're fucked! (laughs) Things to note about lances. They deal triple damage normally on charges and dive attacks. I dealt that twice over thanks to my feats. This damage is multiplied on criticals. I rolled a critical hit, and rolled more than enough to confirm. The total came to something like 150 plus damage against a level 5 character. Pretty stupid. Yeah. The fucker bitched and moaned. The others were stunned with all this, 
and the GM threw a hissy fit about how we were all ruining his game. I feel sorry for the you know, DM. You know, he's, he's going all wrong. I know. You, you really is yeah. going all wrong. So you're going to get yeah, kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you really are. I left that game satisfied, knowing that from then on, he would forever be known to me and the others as Dead Dagon the Dickless or Triple D Dead. <laughs> Still can't decide which sounds better. Well, what can I really say? That really escalated quickly from I'm gonna fuck him to, uh, yeah, dick chopped off. Nah, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. That wasn't the most over the top horror story we've done in a while, but like it was definitely the most bizarre in moments. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have the words to describe what the fuck this was, if I'm be honest with you. This was actually sent in to us on the subreddit, so if you've got any of your own stories, I would definitely recommend links down below. Check the subreddit out. There's plenty of stories there if you want to just read through yourself. We time to skim through our personal favourites and post them, so if you've got a story that you'd like to share with us, definitely share it. Who knows? We might be going to do a video. Um, also, while we're on the topic, um, you should definitely also check out the eBay store. We have a lot of 3D printed models that look really fucking cool. Um, there's a package being sent to Garbro at the minute with some Oni models and he's going to be reviewing them very soon. I have to say they look incredibly clean. Really nice. I really like them. So look, keep an eye out for that. Um, also, also check out the Furry Hunter Cross. It's only a pound. It's pure shit post. It's a meme. I know it's not for everyone. But um, the way I look at it is I don't really agree with like Pete Leons or subscribe stars and stuff like that. So if any guys want to like try and help support what we do here, you know, and it's only a pound. So, you know, it's not like big bucks and it's a pure shit post. And who knows, you might get hours and hours worth of enjoyment out of it slaying the furry beasts, you know. So like anyway, links down below as always. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next video.